perhaps for Kenya 5, for Jubilee, for, for the opposition under the former coalition for reforms and democracy code. Uh, but of course, besides that, I would like to speak to an aspirant for the Nairobi senatorship who is contesting on the WIPA party ticket, uh, Ramesh Chandra. Uh, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, uh, there have been complaints about the credibility of the WIPA nominations uh, in the past. How would you describe your nomination by the party to contest the senatorship for Nairobi? And do you already have the certificate? Perhaps we'd want to know. I think they were fairly conducted. And uh, I've been checking few and there. Also, I had no opposition to oppose me on my uh, ticket as senator. So now I have my certificate. And I think they are fair. Could we perhaps see the certificate? Uh, houses will paint a picture for uh, other aspirants. So there's the certificate here, as you can see, and that means a majority of, uh, or, or in fact, all the contestants that will be uh, participating the August 8th elections from the Wiper Party already have their nomination certificates, and the meeting happening here is the first time or the second time you're meeting the party leader here? Third time. We are meeting third time here right now. So what are the key issues that you expect to discuss with the party leader when he comes by here? Uh, there is no much key issues. The, I think mainly is the people to work together and uh, they do not uh, vote people by the tribal lines, the currently what we have, and uh, also party lines. I would say that people should be wise now. Now it's over 54 years now we are in independence. And uh, because of this uh, divide and rule, I think we are not moving forward as a country, as a better way. So I request Kenyans to at least wake up now. It's time mm -hmm. that I've offered myself. I've never been a, in a politics. Uh, I'm a businessman. I own Taj Mahal. I have also farms. I have concession company. I have many businesses. But uh, the way I suffer in terms of uh, administration, you've seen how Taj Mahal have suffered, mm -hmm. and other many things, approvals in planning, all other things. And uh, if, as a rich man, if I'm suffering, what about that small one, Aichi? They're suffering more. They might be not getting justice. So I've decided to, too like, honest. if you look at when I came from India, I'm not born in Kenya. I'm born in India. I came in Kenya in 1986. Uh, Kenyans have worked hard for me where I am today. So it's my time to work hard for them to bring them to at least a life where they don't have food problem, they don't have housing problem, they don't have water problem, they don't have a public transport problem. Mm -hmm. uh, there are those basic needs mm -hmm. where you can say 